introducing TPA3116 D2 class D amplifier it claimed to have at least 90% of efficiency which in turn can give you 50 watts at 4 ohms load from its BTL output you can power this one from 4.5 to 26 volts and uh, this can this amplifier can be powered from a single supply source it has an integrated cell protection circuit including over voltage under voltage over temperature and DC detection and as well as short circuit protection this particular board was set to have at least a time stand gain on its input buffer and I suppose this is too high for this kind of amplifier and uh, I will try to modify it into times to gain only so that it will not be too sensitive on whatever your input is anyway I'm powering this amplifier from my 19.5 volts laptop adapter and it worked just fine this is my 5.1k resistor that I will connect in parallel with 20k so it will give us a 4k ohms and that will make our preamplifier with only times to gain so let me do the soldering and we will try to check afterwards okay after the modification I managed to change the gain to times 2 instead of times 10 and we will hear the sound of the TPA3116 plus the amplifier So hissing sound is due to the Bluetooth receiver that I'm having but at zero volume you cannot hear any his sound. So the receiver that I'm using is having this hum as you called it or hissing sound and it's not good. But it sounds good.
Okay, that's all folks.